And I think that would be a fun thing to do. Um, we, we have watched a lot of the Disney Plus, though. I, I want to thank you for that tip early on in the uh, quarantine, Kenny. Uh, we have been enjoying that. But I think the better time to wait for maybe uh, doing some movies indoors, at least, will be Monday when it's rainy. But getting out to the drive in perfect weather for you tonight. Look at this from Blues Lake. Lots of sunshine, gorgeous weather. We've got temperatures still sitting in the 70s after a day of 80s. You'll be down into the lower 70s within the next few hours, kind of holding on to those comfortable 70s for a bit. And then you've got 66 degrees in the mountains. Also, something to see over Winston-Salem in the Triad area, about 1025 tonight, you're going to be able to see the International Space Station passing overhead. You're going to look in the south-southwest sky. It'll travel to the north-northeast quadrant of the sky, and you're going to enjoy seeing it for about six minutes. Now, the trick is it's at about 37 degrees, so it's just above the treetops. you got to look, kind of put your fist out, and kind of figure out that 37-degree mark, but you should be able to see that bright moving object in the sky this evening for about six minutes. Kind of a fun thing to do since everyone is home. Nice to have a little International Space Station spotting. All right, we're looking, speaking from looking from the satellites above, we've got this area of low pressure right now that the hurricane hunters are going to fly into, and they are still reporting back on what they're finding. We are looking at at least a good chance of this forming into a system, likely Arthur, as we go into the weekend. You can see it here by Saturday. Looks like it's gathering a little bit of energy and more circulation, at least on our forecast models. This model suggests that it does get pretty close to our coastline, as close as Wilmington, maybe impacting. Oak Island to Southport as we go up along the coast from Emerald Isle through Atlantic Beach and traveling north, potentially scooting out before it hits uh, areas like Cape Hatteras and Nags Head. So we'll be watching for the system. Is it just a tropical depression? Is it less than that? We're going to have much more for you as we look ahead on this system into the weekend. But this is what we will be watching, certainly, as it has a good 80% chance forming right now near the Bahamas and near Florida with some heavy seas and high winds, likely, even if they don't have a system named. All right, temperatures out there in the 80s for you today. And then we dip you down mild in the upper 50s, low 60s tomorrow morning. Look at this. We're hot. We're at 85 degrees for our forecast high to upper 80s. I think a few folks will be in the upper 80s very easily. And that cold front does gain a little bit of energy and momentum as we approach Sunday night, but not until then. Sunday, you know, kind of patchy with the showers, clouds though, some sunshine mixing in, hot temperatures in those mid 80s. And then the rain comes through and does cool us just a little bit later in the day. Once we get you out of the 80s, you're going to cool into the 70s on Monday. And that'll be a slightly milder trend going into Tuesday. Once that cold front sweeps in, we should hang out closer to normal or just a little bit below. But scattered showers look to fill in for us on Monday. And that also helps to sweep likely our tropical system uh, that is not yet named, but likely that system will be swept out. You're in an 80 degree temperature range for highs today. And we continue to watch those temperatures tomorrow warming all the way yeah, into the 80s. As we mentioned, we've got you at 79 degrees right now. Overnight, you're in the upper 50s. You have high tomorrow at 85 in the tried we're at 84 in the foothills at temperatures in the mountains right about 76 degrees in that ridge of high pressure in place with isolated showers and thunderstorms for most of us through the weekend better opportunities late sunday and good rain chances monday impact day straight through wednesday right now